Welcome back to a whole new video guys whether you are new or old we're going to be kind of doing a breakdown to the more recent style of modern units kind of what's good what's not so good maybe things to look out for and just an overall breakdown of each unit in the modern state and the more up-to-date version because a lot has changed in the last coming six months so with that being said guys we have got a very special guest of us today it's 44 mag many of you will know him absolute amazing youtuber and a very very kind guy so please guys i'm sure most of you already do but if you haven't done so make sure you check out his link down below he uploads so many videos definitely check him out guys i appreciate each and every single one of you for tuning into this video as always if you do enjoy the content please think about hitting that like button and let me know down in the comments if there's anything else i can help you with i'd love to be able to help make some more videos to help you all out so guys welcome thank you for joining into the video today we're going to be talking about the modern units and today i have a special guest it's mag guys so mag welcome thank you for joining thanks for having me scopes so guys as i said we're going to be talking about the modern units and we're going to kind of break down exactly kind of what each units are available for how they work and kind of give you an onset mind of like just how good they are to be using in the different battlefields now i myself i'm in silver and my alliance is just upgraded to sort of gold three but mag himself he's in legendary so we're going to kind of give you two perspectives on it as in one being in the biggest and best battlefield out there and one kind of being towards the lower group with that being said guys we're going to probably start off with the most anticipated unit change between legacy and modern which is going to be the tank hunter into the helicopter so as most of you know the tank hunter is kind of you know useless in the early stages it's not that great it's pretty average or maybe even below average but the helicopter is absolutely insane what is your take on this man yeah absolutely the, the tank counter counter the heavy tank which is not a popular unit well at least when i used to play at the beginning of the game where mm -hmm. i was running uh, legacy units so i was running a heavy tank but that was one of the few most of the other players were running either a medium or super heavy so the tank hunter didn't have any reason to be there i even made a video about this unit which i didn't recommend but oh but thankfully it became one of the most popular unit after the modern uh went into place agreed i felt it was like a complete waste of a unit early on so it was really nice to see a change and i was actually surprised when i found out that helicopters even came out because it, it's just something so different obviously we're gonna have newer things coming out soon which i'm sure you've heard about the naval we're not even going to go into that now but that's kind of a crazy thought to think about but yes with the helicopter guys it is i don't want to call it meta but it's definitely up there would you agree it is up there uh i know back in the days when the helicopter got introduced it used to shred things but i was not a fan of this unit as it needed a little bit of tweaking meaning that it was slow to take off it was slow to land then it only engaged the target when it was stationary so if you were trying to chase a target on the move it was almost impossible to land a shot but let it fix all that and now it, it's an amazing unit the main advantage of the helicopter is it it's not affected by the landscape so if you want to go over a river you don't have to cross a bridge if the bridge is um busy or if there's a mountain you can just go over it so that is the biggest benefit to this unit yes i 100 percent agree and honestly it it is felt so long i completely forgot about the fact that the helicopter didn't fire at the start like you'd have to wait for it to completely land and then load cycle and oh i completely forgot that even was a thing so yeah as of right now i think that's kind of what turned it into metal would you agree with the fact that now fires straight away right uh, it became meta since most of the players evolved from the medium tank to the mbt mm -hmm. then the helicopter came into place and was shredding mbt's so now players were wondering what to do and everybody went into the helicopter way now it opens a big door for the light tank which counter the helicopter so be on the lookout for any light tank it's a, a, a emerging unit 100% agree with you on my little old account I've got an L and it's doing amazing right now so moving on to the main battle tank now for me personally I thought the main battle tank was absolutely amazing when it first came out 
as you said it took a while for other members to realize that the helicopter absolutely destroys it and as of right now i feel like the mb is slowly coming back to being acceptable again but especially in like lower tier the mb personally i'm it's probably gonna kill you for me to say this man but the mb is completely useless in these silver tiers it just gets absolutely annihilated and it really just doesn't stand a chance but maybe it's definitely making a comeback for you yourself it is making a comeback at least in legendary from my experience I've noticed a little bit more MBT, so I guess that a lot of players, they did not chase the meta. They kept their MBT while they uh, reverted to a medium tank and they kept their, um, their original unit and they just assembled a new unit, either an helicopter or L tank or light tank. But it is making a comeback and I must confess this conquest so far, I did not play with a light tank at all. I'm using my main battle tank. Uh, for me, it's not, it's like a jack of all trade master of none, right? It's okay to tank a base. It's okay to attack an helicopter if you're not getting engaged. It's not the fastest unit on the field. You just need to be careful, friends, and pick your target carefully. That's why we have many different units. Every unit have its own role. So there's not one unit that do it all. Be careful, wait for your proper target, and then you'll be successful. I 100% agree with you. And as a quote you just said, a lot of people did not chase the meta. And I'm going to stick with it, guys. Don't chase something just because it is at the moment meta. Because one update, it only takes one update for Lilith to completely change the meta around. And you're going to be very upset when you've just tried so hard to go and get the meta. And it's now changed to something else. I'm happy that it's always changing. It makes people, you know, always try and go for a variety. And that's why I've also given the tip. Try and always get... 7.1 units on absolutely every unit and then eventually go towards that 7.2 obviously it's hard to get every unit 7.2 that takes forever mag have you even done that yet have you got every single unit 7.2 no i don't have every single unit so you have to be patient and i know it's a long process you just have to adapt and make a compromise be patient if you start chasing the meta like Pope said it's a matter of update before your strategy is outdated uh, just be careful yeah so guys honestly the best thing i could advise you to do try and get 7.1 units across the board you know that's going to be your best shot because if the meta changes and you know you do want to kind of in quotation chase the meta you're able to sort of have a much easier chance of doing that with especially with the new restricted battlefields obviously every time you go restricted you get two of those blueprints to sort of like convert and reverse your units so it is possible to still do that but it's obviously just going to take a little bit of time but not as much time if you get 7.1 so we've spoke about what kind of is you know one of the best units changing at the moment so now we're going to kind of talk about one of the worst unit changes and uh, i myself didn't even notice until recently thanks to mag pointing it out but early stage the rocket launcher is amazing absolute s tier and as you can see from the firepower guys it is completely changing and goes up up to a whole entire million from the start but once you go to modern the firepower difference and increase is very minimal and you don't even get 40 percent of what you used to get from when it was in legacy so again i didn't even know this until right now i mean i've always known the rocket launcher isn't great but i didn't know the statistic about the firepower it really just doesn't give you that much benefit so how does the rocket launcher affect you in legendary do you even see rocket launchers in legendary that much we started seeing them a little bit more to counter infantry mm. before that uh, i mean the, the rocket truck i used to love that unit as much as i did for my medium tank it was on the battlefield if you knew what you were doing meaning that you you only had to stay close to your base but the mobility was great and it could it could one shot artillery uh, uh, howitzers and anti-tank gun now it's not, they don't do that anymore they will do it with the officer's kill but yeah. not the regular attack so that's kind of a letdown for the rocket truck it used to be the most popular ground unit before the modern uh, unit arrived uh, but like i said like we said don't give hope keep your rocket truck it's still useful i'm sure lilith will come with a buff they don't see it 
and they didn't bring this buff already because they I, I guess they are waiting more players to play with infantry yeah. and I'm sure the rocket truck will get the buff it deserves as right now there's not really a unit to counter the infantry properly. This is the role of the rocket truck. Agreed, agreed. And as you said, a lot of people are slowly transforming towards that infantry and as soon as more people get infantry you will probably see a lot more of these rocket launchers being used and then of course maybe we'll see a buff from them mind you i want to yep. say something though mind you if you have if you just been um or if, if you just had access to modern units and you want to work with the rocket truck if you can build a 9 9.1 9.2 units versus any legacy unit the rocket truck will destroy everything <laughs> right but this uh will won't last forever as um players with uh, will uh, upgrade their modern units then you will become the prey and no longer the predator so you just have to be careful of that that's it yeah so early stage rocket launcher is amazing but the higher you go up the faster it drops off unfortunately so mm -hmm. with infantry obviously infantry did recently get a buff so more and more people are using it i would say right now early game infantry is pretty useless right because obviously you've got the rocket launcher which is amazing early game you got artillery which a lot of people use early game so infantry really does not benefit very well early game and as you can see here the increase in hp and stuff isn't really worth it but once you get into the higher stages they can tank so much would you agree mag i think they are very Absolutely. strong yeah if you got if you have good modern tech if you have the proper officer every bloom and um angel of angel light, light. yeah yeah they are undestructible unless your base is packed with five rocket truck inside it then uh you you cannot burn or you cannot survive a siege if it's initiated by the infantry even at my level i have many videos many proof of that i mean it's they are the infantry is overpowered and mm -hmm. something has to be done otherwise there's no way to defeat that unit saying that though mag have you tried putting on fortification damage on your howitzer because obviously yeah. i'm sure you're aware the uh, infantry even class is a fortification yeah. see yeah, even with that i i ran some tests and it's it doesn't make a huge difference i see so i guess that's going to be one of the difference between legendary where someone's got completely maxed out stuff compared to in my sort of lower battlefields when using the right tech even a uh, howitzer can affect an infantry so you do have to be careful whenever you are base to base in make sure guys you know what you're going up against so that therefore you can attack with the correct unit and sort of like take that sponging unit correctly so right. moving on to howitzers my howitzer is obviously going to be the liberty howitzer that's my favorite mag what about you i think you do prefer the liberty over the mm -hmm. marty one is that correct yeah i do even if the the martyrs got a buff recently it did i yeah i still prefer the liberty my two favorite camp is liberty and vanguard i have Agreed. no i don't care about martyrs watch it's not a bad <laughs> camp it's just for me it doesn't work it so if i could have only two camps i would uh, get rid of martyrs watch therefore i prefer liberty howitzer i find there's just more units that are like uh unique to those two than there really isn't anything well there is one unique one and that's the rocket launcher but as we just spoke about the rocket launcher at this moment in time unfortunately is probably on the lower end of the tiered units mm -hmm. so it does let it down so moving on to light tanks now as mag mentioned earlier on light tanks are definitely becoming more popular due to the fact that they do counter helicopters so if you are someone who wants that fast guerrilla warfare definitely think about getting a light tank it's very agile it's very nippy it gets in it's like a little chihuahua just gets in nips at them people then you can get out really fast and if you're very skilled you could definitely do a lot of damage with this thing but what about in the higher tiers i see we're actually getting a lot more in these lower tiers like it's kind of getting overrun with light tanks right now what about in the higher leagues oh we do have a lot of players running the light tank and the thing that uh you have to remember with the light tank when you evolve to a modern unit it will automatically engage uh air force yes. so you don't have to switch the aa mode it does it for you so that's the benefit of running a modern light tank 
Uh, it looks smaller on screen also. I don't know why the legacy light tank, it, it, it appears bigger. Uh, but anyways, it's a mobile unit. It's wonderful. Uh, it's kind of the, it reminds me of the, 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 the upgrade medium tank. So it fires mm. very fast. And if you have a lot of money and you're looking for an exclusive officer, bistro officer, uh, that new one that's been released, uh, Phoenix, Steel Phoenix, I think. Steel Phoenix, yes. Uh, it is the officer for the light tank. He will do some serious damage with that combo. Yes, 100% agreed. It does suck that it is an exclusive launch, but it makes sense because every single skill is kind of geared towards a light tank. So if Steel Phoenix and Repair on a light tank, you're Ooh. pretty much... <laughs> I, I think you would be even... An, do you reckon that could be an MB in a one-on-one? -on -one? It's going to be a close fight, I reckon, because obviously, technically, the MB is set to counter the lights. But if you was to run that combination, I actually think the light would be coming close to winning. Would you agree, Mac? It would stand. A, it would stand a chance against against the MB. I'd be I'd be curious to try it out. Yeah, uh, if maybe I'm that's a new one. To to test <clears> it, <throat> then I'll, I'll be more than happy to report back. But officers by themselves, they uh, they are the equalizer. Yeah. So with regards to the MBs, obviously there are different camps, guys. And most people you'd see running a main battle tank in the Vanguard unit. So when it comes to Vanguard specifically, Vanguard is normally focused to more firepower, um, especially when it comes to the main battle tanks and the helicopters and even the infantry for that sake. But of course, when you go to the different camps, the only main difference is specific things. So with regards to marty you're looking at more sort of like damage resist protection penetration and then when you go to infantry on infantry main battle tanks and helicopters with liberty that's kind of looking towards speed of course you've got the light tank in there with speed and then vanguard is more just dealing pure outright firepower and damage to it so those are the kind of differences moving on to the next unit mag is gonna be kind of a very split one between me and you here but the super heavy tank now, I personally, this was my very first ever modern unit that I got back in the day, just before I got my howitzer. But what is your take, especially being in Legendary, because I know we have very different aspects here. What is your view on the Super Heavy now that they've just buffed it recently? It's making a comeback. I'm glad that the Super Heavy is great again. Uh, I know a lot of players that were running the Super Heavy and Switch for a main battle tank or helicopter, or they just gave up base to base. But now uh, we have some good officers for the um, Super Heavy. We got Zvalin, we got Uncle mm -hmm. Ivankov. That combo makes the uh, Super Heavy with the, the rework, with the buff, uh, more desirable, better suited for base to base, for tanking a base. Because let's mm -hmm. face it, uh, infantry is a technology by itself. So if you want to invest in infantry, you need the proper parts and you need the proper tech. And while you develop infantry, you have to put everything else on pause. Uh, so some players like myself are invested in tank technology. So they are off, they're, they're better off developing the super heavy and looking for parts rather than starting from scratch uh, with the infantry. So, uh, and it all boils down to what kind of units are inside the base. When you do base to base and you take five seconds to zoom in and look inside the base, what units do you see? If you see mostly rocket truck and uh, howitzers, then the super heavy will be amazing. Uh, if you see uh, not much uh, howitzer, more anti-tank gun, then the infantry will be better. So there you go. Um, th th every unit have its role and it's up to you to deal with that. I agree. And honestly, I'm happy that it's making a comeback. In my lower league at the moment, unfortunately, it's not quite there. It might need a little bit more tweaking, but I'm definitely excited to see the comeback. And maybe eventually I'll be able to go forward and get my 9.2. And uh, it'll be really cool to see. I am using the ATG right now. I swapped it out. Uh, I originally had a super heavy. I then swapped it out for a main battle tank when that kind of became good now i've gone and got an atg so like i have the ability to kind of switch between the three if i wanted to but at the moment the atg for me really is doing it and how about for you how do you find the uh, atg as well because as you said the atg early game i i find that the atg was okay early game 
even though, as you said yourself, Mag, the Super Heavy is one of the most popular things early game, the ATG, I feel like, just still wasn't that strong. Like, if I could tank almost any base early game with a Super Heavy, yeah. and even if they had ATGs, I didn't really see any, you know, resistance from them. So, what about you? How do you find them? Because late game, you don't want to mess with them if you have a Super Heavy. Right. Well, the ATG, I've never been a fan of this unit, mm. even though back in the days, like you said, a lot of players were using the Super Heavy. Uh, so the ATG had is its role. Uh, then it kind of faded out because nobody was using the AA Super Heavy anymore. And the ATG, the problem is the legacy unit, it, it, is, it drives slow. It's not mobile. Yeah. It's slower than the Howitzer. It doesn't shoot as far as the howitzer. Uh, the rate of fire, I think it's on par with the howitzer, but overall, it's more of a defensive weapon. Uh, if you compare it to the howitzer, it's yeah. horrible to tank a base. It's only good for a unit and some specific unit, right? Now, with the modern ATG, it is making a comeback once again because you shoot at four grids rather than three. And yep, then you can true. shoot down aircraft with the ATG. That is why a lot of players and myself changed their mind and invested in the ATG. It will absolutely crush any airplane in the sky. Even a weak one with a proper uh, officer pairing, it will annihilate bombers and fighters. You do not want to fly over an ATG in anti-aircraft mode. 100% agree with you. I mean, I was genuinely shocked when I found out that an eight star ATG is just as effective against, say, like a fighter as a nine star fighter. Like, they are ridiculously powerful, especially if they get their ults off. So, I think maybe it's due to the fact that the coefficient of like ground force officers are so different compared to the sort of uh, coefficient of maybe Air Force officers. Maybe that's the difference we're seeing and why ATGs are so strong. But 100%, it's very unique with the fact that it's the same as a light tank with being able to take out that air stuff. But not only that, is it's really good against any vehicle, really. Helicopters, MBs, like the only thing it's not good against is pretty much the infantry. And obviously, um, it's not very good with its main sort of normal attack against howitzers. But its ult still destroy how it's as very well. So with that being said, it is the ultimate defense machine. And it's one of those mag. I know for you, you say in a base to base like fighting style, it's not necessarily a good unit to have. But it can be nice to have it just on that defense style of the base to base style. But it's one of those. It's like, would you rather have a second Howie or would you rather have a an Howie and ATG? It's a very like mixed signal right there. And it, it's a hard one to choose, but it's definitely a good option. It's hard to make a choice because, you know, what the beauty about this game is you have so many different units, so many different officers, and mm -hmm. each player have its own style. So you pick two similar player and they will have a complete different setup. Uh, it's up to them how yeah. they want to play. Uh, but the ATG, great weapon. It used to be eh, average before Agreed. and Lilith understood the player and they made improve the ATG. And I wouldn't be surprised if longer in the game we'll see more units with a, a dual purpose. So you can switch yeah. mode between those units. That will kind of uh, bring a new dimension to the game. Agreed, 100%. I think it'll be really cool to see like newer things come out moving on to the last two units we have bombers and we have fighters guys so bombers and fighters again they're kind of very similar to their legacy units just you know a much better and faster and more powerful version of them their former selves when it comes to marty you have the marty fighters which are really good for taking more damage you know sponging a lot more actually i'm trying to think right now the actual liberty ones they're kind of the middle ground, right? They're not the, the most offensive, but they're not the most defensive. They're very neutral. Would you agree? I would agree. I don't have much experience mm -hmm. with the Liberty Jet. I've never had one. Um, so I couldn't comment on that. Mm -hmm. And at this point, I think it has a lot to do with what you can assemble. At, at some point, you cannot pick what you want. You have to go with what you have. Uh, and either either for camp uh, bonus 
or just because you have the parts or you have the blueprints uh, you, you go with whatever you you can get uh, i know that like you said the russian or the martyr's watch jet is the ideal jet to absorb the attack when you launch your bomber uh, besides that i think and i've known that vanguard have more intercept but all in all with all the variables outside of this parts tech and everything and, and officers i don't think that in my opinion there is one better camp than the other uh but go on no i agree to some degree i definitely think that as an overall there isn't a better one there is a better one for defending and a better one for offense in my personal opinion obviously as we've just explained but with regards to as you mentioned what you can assemble if you were gonna go for a fighter the reason i would advise you not to go for a liberty fighter is there are better liberty things out there you've got the liberty light tank if you really want it you've got the howitzer those are definitely gonna be higher up on the tier list and then even the bomber and when it comes to obviously bombers the liberty bomber is very unique obviously it does a area damage whereas the vanguard and the marty both do actual tracking damage they're very different in that aspect so i think when it comes to fighters you want to kind of stay away from liberty fighters not because the liberty fighters bad just there are better liberty units to be spending your actual tokens on but yeah with regards to bombers what is your favorite bomber mag what is your favorite bomber uh you know it's because i have a vanguard bomber that okay. i wish i had a liberty one yes right oh and the liberty one i think it will suit the defensive player the player that mm -hmm. like to stop a build uh that likes to put his base uh near bases it's perfect to break up a siege it's amazing longer distance bombing not so good because it doesn't track its target right Great, but yeah. you cannot have it all right uh so you cannot just have three bombers you need the fighter protection so you have to make a choice and that's the beautiful thing about this game you have to make a compromise you have to think twice should I go with this or that? It all boils down to what kind of player you are, what suits your game style the best. 100%. And as you said a second ago, like it's whatever you have, you want the other thing. So when you have like the Liberty Bomber, you, you want to get a bomber to contract because you're fed up with units moving away. But when you've got the Vanguard Bomber or the Marty Bomber, you want a Liberty Bomber because you want to be able to do multiple area damage so it's always one of those human instincts of wanting what you don't have but you know one day guys like this is the biggest thing is with this game one day you'll have an option to get them all and you can just switch them out so it will take some time of course but maybe one day guys you'll be able to have the benefit of being able to get them all once you have everything 7.2 so with regards to units mag i don't think i've left any units out here is there anything on your mind that uh, we haven't spoke about regarding these modern units and how they can change yeah. and vary from the original one other thing we've covered oh, it all we, you've covered it all okay perfect so one other thing magdi mentioned to me for you beginner guys as well especially is gonna be regarding your forged parts now just so you guys aren't confused when you have a tank hunter so this could happen with two units. I believe it's just two. The tank hunter. The tank heavy. hunter that turns into the helicopter and the main battle tank that turns into an MBT. I think that they're the two main ones. I, I also the super heavy and the, the medium armor is shared with the main battle tank, the uh, sloped armor. I yes. think pretty sure it is including the medium suspension. So when it comes to parts, guys, if you have a tank hunter, when you want to transition, so let's say you've got a tank hunter gun and as you can see, it's the telescopic sight and it's the number two gun. When you transition over to a helicopter, it's no longer a gun, but don't worry. When you have the parts available, you simply just convert them into a modern part. So don't be a bit worried there. The easiest way for you guys to find out is look at the numbers. You have number one, number two, number three, and number four. And if it has that part available, it will, even if it says it's only for a tank hunter, if it matches the same number, it can convert into a helicopter part as well just to clear that up for you guys if anyone was getting a little confused as to what would happen to their parts but yeah guys as always thank you ever so much to everyone who tuned in i hope this helped 
if it did please let me know down below and of course if there's anything else i can help you with also let me know massive shout out as well again to mag thank you so much for joining me on today's video i hope it kind of helped you guys to know the difference between the lower leagues and the higher leagues and how they kind of have different roles but mag thank you again i really do appreciate you stopping in his link will be in the description guys make sure you definitely go and hit that subscribe button okay mag anything else you'd like to say uh, I think we're done and thanks for having me once again Scopes I wish you guys a great day thank you very much I love you all guys and I'll see you all in the next video take care guys